Hey guys, so this is a question from the exam that apparently some people are talking about and I'm sorry about the quality but this is the best I've got. Uh, so you can see here it says a pattern is made from four identical squares. The sides of the squares are parallel to the axes. And here we have the diagram and we have this, the bottom square down here with this corner at 6, 7 and uh, the top corner here is at 38, 36 and uh, I'm guessing the rest of the question was to find the coordinates for C. Is this the hardest problem in the paper? I, I find that hard to believe. But uh, let's go ahead and, and break this down. So we know they're identical squares. So we can pretty easily find this, the length of the side of the squares. Now we can't use the Y coordinates because you see that these two middle squares are overlapping. But horizontally, the squares are all lined up. So we can use the X coordinates to find the length of the side of the square. Uh, by taking the x coordinate, so we can say uh, 38 minus 6, that's 32, and that's four sides of the square. So we need to do 32 divided by 4 to get the side length of the square, that'll be 8. Now I know the length of the side of the square, and uh, well, I can find the x coordinate of c because these squares are parallel to the axes. Uh, so the x coordinate is going to be 8 times 2 plus 6. So 8 times 2 is 16 plus 6, that's going to be 22. Now to find the y coordinate, I can't count up from this coordinate because c would have to be on this corner. But I can use this coordinate here, this y coordinate, and count down. Uh, so from 36, I need to go down 8 and down 8 again. So effectively I've done 36 minus 16 and so the y coordinate will be 20. So I believe that's the final answer. I don't think the question had any other parts to it. So the final answer there is the coordinates of C is 2220. Uh, so how did you go with that question? Did you get that answer? Were there any other questions you weren't sure about? Uh, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you appreciate this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.